Okay guys, this is my review of um, Short Track's new Pro Series um, landscape enclosed trailer. I'll give you just a few reasons why I bought this one and why I feel it was the right decision for me. The front of the trailer does have a one piece roof. You guys probably can't see that too well in the video. A lot of enclosed trailers have strips of aluminum going across and there would be there would be seams. This is a one piece of aluminum roof. Sorry about the wind. Out front here, adjustable coupler. I went with the pinnel hook. Um, six inch tube extended tongue. Um, something I wanted. I have a, a short track dump trailer that has the same exact setup and uh, it works really 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 well. Easy to turn, easy to back up. Don't have to worry about hitting the corners and whatnot. The upgraded LED lights in all the corners, you can see them. Um, it's all like a Euro style. Um, they're kind of tucked in there. They're uh, really, really little, but they're really, really bright. Um, I believe this is more of a semi screwless exterior. So it has the bigger aluminum panels. So I think a normal one would have another seam here and every two feet. These look about four feet. They do have the vents, all the upgrade aluminum on the bottom. Um, I got this one equipped with 10,000 pound axles. Uh, so uh, for the passes on the side, so I wanted something that could haul um, quite a bit of weight. I think with the trailer, it gives me roughly a little over 7,000 pounds of uh, payload, which is exactly what I needed. Um, Rear of the trailer, all LED lighting. Again, have the small Euro lights on the corner. These are all nice LED, kind of their own little protective um, housing there. Same thing with the, I guess you could call that a fair break light. Um, the uh, ramp door is extremely heavy duty. If you look on the bottom, there's uh, seven hinges. They are greasable. They all have a grease fitting on them, um, which makes this door open and close extremely, extremely well. No fear of running over, or driving up anything there, and having to damage the door at, at all whatsoever. Um, same thing on this side. This vent is down low. Um, they do open both ways. They can either canter out and have it kind of crosswind inside the trailer, or you can have this one also scoop and then bring air in that way. Um, 36 inch man door, some nice heavy duty hinges. It does have a door keep on the side. Um, but again, overall, really heavy duty, well built. Um, from my understanding, they make a, a step above this. Short Track makes trailers for Brickman. Um, Brickman is <laughs> an enormous, enormous landscape company um, I'm from New Jersey so they're, they're definitely around this area and in Delaware and whatnot so they make a step up above this which is going to be way overkill for me but, um, the ramp door is heavy but comes down nice and easy uh, due to the spring assist I do like the integrated um, diamond plate transition of, I guess whatever you want to call this no more does it have the flap that flaps down. It's going to break and, you know, be repairing it mid-season. Heavy-duty um, door. Again, here's another, another peek at the hinges when the door is down. Inside the trailer, obviously, I got all my equipment in here already. It does have uh, two LED lights that are fairly bright at night. Um... The vents themselves put in or give off enough light uh, normally during the day. On the inside of the trailer, aside from what I actually have as far as um, equipment for the shelves and the, and the racks, the landscape version gives you the uh, kick plate all the way around. Um, so all the way around the trailer. Um, it goes all the way around. Obviously, minus the uh, kickouts for the wheel wells. 
the reason why I bought this trailer and didn't just buy a regular enclosed trailer, there's no tie downs. This is designed to be a landscape trailer. So there's, at no point is there going to be any kind of tie downs like a traditional um, car trailer that is not nearly as heavy duty. Um, 12, if I can see here, 12 inches on center. So there's studs that run every 12 inches. So everywhere you see a screw on the floor here, there's a cross member going from one side to the other. That allows this trailer to be extremely sturdy. Adds a little bit of weight, but extremely, extremely sturdy. Um, the cross members that are going used to be that old stop sign material or be flattened out. Now it's tubing. Um, screwing my brackets in made it extremely easy. Once I was able to find out where the brackets, the um, supports came down, everything screwed in nice and tight. No issues with that whatsoever. Um, as far as equipment wise, this trailer is an eight and a half by 18. Thought about the 20. Um, didn't really want to get the 20 due to the fact that uh, <clears throat> some of the streets I go on are a little bit smaller and the fear of me having a trailer that was 20 feet long <laughs> was probably going to put um, I was probably going to buy equipment to fit that trailer um, which I kind of did with this trailer so I wanted to kind of stick away from buying um, additional equipment if I didn't really officially need to do that um, I'll probably do some reviews on some of the equipment that's in here um, but I wanted to touch on some of the areas that I thought this trailer really shined again the tongue was was um, was a really big deal to me uh, like I like I touched on I have a dump trailer um, a 14 foot dump trailer made by short track and the adjustable coupler the heavy-duty front end I don't have to worry about anything um, pulls really really nice uh, my truck does a, a great job of pulling it but I don't have to worry about it, it wagon all over the place obviously as you can tell I have it loaded up pretty good that's a 36 inch um, quick track John Deere I believe it's a 636 M this is a 652 R right here and the Walker GHS 48 um, I'll probably touch on and go into a little bit more as far as some equipment um, but as you can tell this this fits perfect I mean, there's not much room here um, the door comes up nothing contacts the door the walker really doesn't move around a whole lot um, during transport so I don't have to worry about tying anything down um, this setup was here for quite a while now since the beginning of the season and I don't get any of the equipment moving around jostling around um, nothing like that but to touch on how I kind of hung some equipment, backpack blowers, uh, I use Rackham, which is a, in my opinion, a fairly decent uh, company that makes some pretty good products. Um, I think these are designed for extension cords, hoses, what have you, and uh, I just wanted to turn them into blower racks to try to make it as simple as possible. I didn't want real complex. Um, a mounting system just because I'm looking for more longevity than than uh, you know we'll get into the, the green touch rack I think that's probably one of the better racks on the, on the market push blower uh, Billy Goat these are also by uh, Rackham had a cut in here a little bit for the uh, I won't call this a kick plate but this is only is only one side of the trailer which I wasn't sure why it was only on one side but it's on one side it's black I think this is like three eighths of an inch plywood but I thought it should have been on that side too but as you can tell <laughs> it's obviously not um, used all the rackham here which I liked really 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 uh, turned out better than I anticipated there's a little bit of dead space back here 
but um, doesn't really bother me too much. The um, 36 fits up there fairly well. Again, the, the kick plate extends all the way up front, so um, I'm not mowing anything up. I'm not pushing the front of the trailer out, anything like that. I do have to organize this a little bit, obviously, but um, like you guys know, once you get into it and start uh, cutting, it's hard to keep everything nice and clean. But uh, I've got a stick, stick hedge trimmer, um, handheld trimmer, M362, I believe this is a 290, no 271, and I have a handheld back there, uh, still VR600, EBZ8500, um, like I said I'll go into both of them but they both have their place in my opinion. Um, probably, obviously, two of the best blowers on the market, but, um, definitely two different blowers in a sense, but now that I have two of them together, definitely is the combination that I was looking for. Place this, uh, trimmer rack a little further back than I'd normally see in enclosed trailers. Um... I really wanted to incorporate um, these are like little giant ladders, but they're the uh, the multi-position ladders. I really wanted to incorporate this in the trailer and try to keep it up off the floor. So I set this back um, a little ways. End up already having and buying the um, the uh, motor mounts for the um, trimmers had them on when I had a I still currently own my open enclosed trailer decided that I really didn't want my motors breaking off or damaging or destroying um, any of my handheld equipment so that just kind of transitioned and came right inside the enclosed but they're rock solid once I found it, the uh, joist coming down super simple super easy um, man it up great they don't go anywhere and then I also bought the Rackham line trimmer that's obviously currently a mess right now um, I'll be taking care of that but works out really well easy to get to doesn't really go anywhere keeps everything nice and tight uh, that's an older style Red Max that I love tried out the uh, FS90R really like it a little bit heavier but uh, really good trimmer nonetheless lots and lots of power and then the um, FC110 for a stick edger things an absolute beast overgrown sidewalks doesn't really matter um, fresh blade on there it, it'll do just about anything you ask it to do so again guys I'm just trying to give you guys an update um, just really trying to get going with the whole YouTube thing but um, I'll do a quick walk around this video is getting kind of long um, of the outside uh, any questions comments concerns let me know I did spend a little bit more than I originally anticipated but with what I do um, as far as houses and cutting grass and all that good stuff I wanted to have a trailer that could kind of grow with me and not have to worry about putting too much weight in it and you know, I don't want to get to get too heavy and then you know, either wear at the tires wear at the bearings you know I have to do all kinds of axle work I want to have a trailer that did everything well and could do it day in and day out without any worry whatsoever so with a quick walk around and uh, I'll be ending the video plenty of room on both sides to, to walk down which is really really nice I don't have to worry about trying to squeeze but I've seen narrow trailers that really have an issue with trying to get down there and get in there and get on the mowers and you're hitting the, the trimmers or you're hitting the blowers this has plenty of room um, with with no issue whatsoever. And 
that's the truck that pulls it guys does a very nice job I'll get into the flatbed and everything else in a later video take it easy guys